Mr. Trump is also making headlines on health insurance. Here's a headline from the Washington Post. Trump vows insurance for everybody in Obamacare replacement plan. Washington Post as of right now. Joining us, Grace Marie Turner knows a thing or two about Obamacare and its demise. How is Mr. Trump going to pay for insurance for everyone? Well, you have to listen to what he said, and there's really not a lot of daylight, Stuart, between what he has said and what Speaker Ryan has said. Everyone is going to be able to get health insurance, but that does not mean that the federal government is going to mandate it. We've learned from Obamacare what that means. It brings tens of thousands of pages of Washington rules and regulations. So universal access to care, absolutely we can do that. And make sure that people at the lower end of the income scale have financial help in purchasing coverage, absolutely. Those have been Republican plans all along. But they don't, okay, so you get rid of the mandate and the insurance companies can offer whatever policies they like across state lines. That's the replacement plan, is it? The replacement in plan involves giving the states more authority to approve health insurance plans that actually meet the needs of consumers. Let people decide. Okay. Let competition work in getting prices down by giving them more choices than the cookie cutter plans that Obamacare has offered. Now, Grace Murray, he also went off on the drug makers, the healthcare industry, basically. He said, look, Medicare and Medicaid, which buy an enormous number of drugs, biggest market in the world, they're going to negotiate on a, a big basis, negotiate lower prices. How do you think the drug company is responding to that? Well, first of all, Medicaid already has a requirement that drug companies provide their best price to, to Medicaid purchasers. But that also involves having to pay a tax in the form of rebates for participating in Medicaid. That involves its own set of distortions. The Congressional Budget Office has said there's no savings from having the federal government negotiate drug prices for Medicare. Look at Part D, the prescri prescription drug benefit that passed in 2003. That program is coming in at half the ex expected cost. Drug and prices for the average senior for their monthly premium over 11 years since it started in 2006 have only gone up six dollars and that's because medic private plans negotiate drug prices to offer seniors uh, the best choice of plans that's the model Stuart. then we should have started right there because that's really fascinating that is how you keep prices under control yes. grace marie turner please come back because you're going to be in the news for a long time to come got it Thank thanks you. very much